Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be reviewing this portable handheld OBD2 scanner made by Foxwell, model number NT201. A link to this scanner will be included in the description below. The scanner is intended to be used on vehicles equipped with a OBD2 system, which is found on vehicles 1996 and newer. However, some vehicles a couple years prior to this may also have the OBD2 system. It is able to work on both domestic and imported vehicles with the OBD2, EOBD, JOBD, and CAN protocols. This scanner isn't intended for hybrid or electric vehicles. While it's able to scan codes, it's also able to view your vehicle's inspection and maintenance readiness, also known as IM readiness, which ensures your emission systems meets the government regulations. If your vehicle has this information available, the scanner can automatically decode the vehicle's VIN. The scanner comes with a USB cable that gives you access to a lifetime free of software and firmware updates. The outside of the scanner is finished in a smooth orange plastic, making it easy to keep clean, along with a smooth button pad and a large easy viewable 2.4 inch screen. As a brief walkthrough over the operation, locating your OBD2 port on the vehicle for this particular truck, it's located under the steering wheel behind a plastic cover. Once that scanner is plugged in, some vehicles may require the key to be turned on or have the engine running. As you can see, after the startup, we are immediately prompted with an error. Turning the ignition on is required then. First, the system status will be shown upon startup. Here you're able to see the main diagnostic menu with all the options you can select. Reading the codes we can view the current codes or pending codes. I have unplugged the O2 sensor on this truck to trigger a check engine light. Viewing current codes, a P code is shown along with the brief definition of the meaning. Next going back into the pending codes where none are present. As for erasing codes, it's quite straightforward. Following the instructions on the screen, it only takes a brief moment to erase the check engine light. Next is viewing the live data. Currently, the engine is off, so not all parameters are showing. Here you're able to see the various values of the sensors and components in order to help determine how your vehicle is operating, along with helping troubleshoot any faults. The unit of measurement can also be changed based on your personal preference or location. Now with the engine running, here's an example of a live data. Click enter on any one of these areas to also prompt a line graph to monitor the values over a time period. Next you're able to see the more text version of the I am readiness. Vehicle information which this vehicle does not support and a unit of measurement which is the same as shown before. On the main menu, we can view the scanner's current software version under the About section. The Setup menu also allows the user to select their preferred language, monitoring configurations, unit measurement, audio setup, tool test, and update mode. When on the home screen, you're also able to select the IM button this will take you to a more graphic form of the inspection and maintenance readiness. If you are looking for an affordable, compact, easy to use OBD2 scanner, then this unit fits the bill perfectly. This scanner is great for those who are repairing vehicles on their own at home. This gives you the opportunity to scan faults before taking your vehicle into the repair shop. And it's also great for scanning a vehicle that you may be purchasing. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Google+, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. If you're not a subscriber, then be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.